What's up, everybody? 2018 Bowman Draft PYT number 12. Good luck. Negative, negative dragon. I got that uh, Bowman Crow Man. Um. I think we might be going to Ali Ice, perhaps. I don't know. I gotta discuss it with, uh, with them to see if that is for sure. So I'm not gonna lie. I wish that I could drink. So I'd probably uh, probably peel off a six pack in that hour. messes with my blood thinners. It would be uh, overly appreciated if I came back uh, came back live all uh, dizzy and lightheaded and fumbling cards everywhere. Dude, I haven't drank uh, really uh, for about speaking of fumbling cards. For August, so August, January, August, June, July, September, October, November. Dude, I haven't really drank in like eight months. So, uh, the rest of the month time. Aggressive amount of time. That prison retail. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, I really didn't even, uh, I didn't really didn't even drink the National. I had that one night where I had, I think, like seven Captain and Coats, and that's really it. Actually, realistically, um, before uh, anybody says anything, uh, eBay links are a no longer thing. Um, a lot of the uh, uh, regulars are not uh, over the field with the eBay links. But I have no problem with that one dropping, Chris.
You know, I'm not a pizza guy at all, really. I mean, I enjoy pizza, but I'm craving pizza. Just the one in my pants dragging. <laughs> um, I don't think Aiden necessarily looks like shit, Spanky. I think the scenario there is... Is, um... I think he's confused, Spanky. And here's why I think he's confused. Because there's no leadership. There's just no leadership, man. Josh Jackson looks like an atrocity. Like, that dude should get his hair back. I think that's affecting his play. What's up, Bobby? I mean, at the end of the day, Aiden's a rookie. And I feel like there's... Based off of uh, something I read, there might be a little animosity between uh, Booker and Aiton. Because Aiton's like, yeah, man, this is my team. I'm the one that's going to be here for a long time. I've actually watched him play a few games. I'll tell you, his jump shot looked atrocious last night, man. He dropped, shot a straight line drive into the bottom half of the rim. But Josh Jackson... That dude needs to figure something out. That cat is out of control. I tell you who should be starting for him, Rashawn Holmes. The good old BGSU. Well, yeah, I mean, Luca is overall playing that straight gangster, so he's allowed to have an off game. I feel like Charles Barkley, uh, he was a beast here, too. I feel like Charles Barkley knew something last night. Like, that dude was, he was in the know. I guarantee, guarantee, the Suns win tonight. I should have realized. He was literally telling the world, go take the Suns on the money line. Michigan great. Charles was speaking to us last night, guys. Uh, Bobby, I haven't bought any cards for about two months, my man. I uh, have a, uh, uh, a few things going on outside of the uh, sports cards world that I'm trying to uh, uh, get accomplished. So I have uh, currently shut down from uh, a sports card purchasing. Salty. Ohio State beat the living shit out of Michigan in every aspect of the game. It's so funny, before the game happened too, I was talking to my aunt who's a diehard. Like, she graduated there, lives down there, does a lot of stuff down there, Ohio State fan. I said, you know, is that Ohio State on paper or in people's minds? Michigan, which should win by two touchdowns. Ohio State's probably going to win. True that, Bobby Bizzle. Chris, do you think Ohio State's going to have a letdown game in the bowl game since they didn't get in the playoffs? I think they I think they do. I think it's a very similar scenario to like 
six or seven years ago when they thought they were going to play for the national championship, and then I think they played like Clemson. And I think Clem- Clemson actually beat them like outright. Do you recall that, Chris? I feel like it's setting up for that type of scenario. I'm thinking about coming out of retirement for betting for it. Curious to see what your thoughts are. You do? Or Nelius. The only problem is is with Urban leaving, um, I don't know how that changes the dynamics. Again, Griffin Roberts for the Cardinals. Yeah, some of these kids just have massive letdowns. It's like we've been playing and playing for the national championship. Uh, didn't get there yet. Don't give a shit. John Duplantier. Tristan McKenzie. Parker Meadows, number to 75 for the Tigers. Hey, Greg, you got a BBC, baby. Bobachet, Cal Quantrill, Trevor. Oh, number to twenty-five, Trevor for the Twins. Uh, Parker Meadows for the Tigers. Twentieth overall pick. Nice hit on the Trevor. Tasty little treat. Rory, can I ask you a huge favor real quick? Can you snag me a monster box, please? Mike Siani. Braxton Ashcraft for the Pirates. Damn, and a real a realistic view from an Ohio State fan. I appreciate that. Josiah Gray. There's some people that are just like saying it's the biggest travesty in the world that Ohio State's not in the playoffs. Brennan Davis, Monty Harrison, Caden Grenier, Nick Schnell, Jeremiah Jackson, another Braxton Ashcraft,
Matthews. Stever. Cody Clemens for the Tigers. Banfield. Caden Grenier. Cal Contrell. Richardson. Josh Bro for the Yankees. You think Irvin's retiring because there's about to be uh, some sort of uh, massive um, scandal released at all? Do you think that's a possibility at all, Chris? Like some shit's about to pop, and they're just waiting for it to pop after Irvin gets out of there. Nick Madrigal. Torres. Sean Gulibe. Ryan Weathers to two fifty. Nico, number to four ninety nine. Jazz Chisenholm, Monty Harrison, Sparkles Refractor for the Yankees, Anthony Siegler. Damn. 
Kyle Quintrell. That's no bueno. I liked Urban when he was here at BGSU. Bateman. That's when I was in school. For my short time I was in school. <laughs> Ooh, what is this tasty little treat? Keenan Uzeri, number 25. <laughs> Spanky, uh, I don't know, how do you feel, really? If you could uh, update us on that. Brendan McKay. Grayson Rodriguez. Cody Clemens. Chris, I will actually say my piece on that, and then I will be done with it because I mean, I don't get too emotionally involved in it. For Proctor. The scenario is there's a reason that the Michigan Ohio State robbery is what it is. It's not because of the last 30 years, it's because of the entirety of the rivalry. So while each side could 100% make a point to certain sections of said rivalry to make it uh, better for them, aka lawyering it, a rivalry is a rivalry because all games. Bro, sparkle. All games do matter. So while in my lifetime, yes, they have been getting annihilated by Ohio State. It's literally, the rivalry is what it is because of the longevity, not the last 30 years. If it was just the last 30 years, that's not a rivalry. That's just an ass kicking. Like I said, I don't care enough to get into an argument about stuff. But that would, that's just my take on it. Favara. Harris. Nick Schnell. I know, right, Greg? Oh, yeah, absolutely. And that's the thing that bugs me, because, like, anybody have an argument with... And here, here's, here's the best part. I got in an argument with the one guy, and uh, he didn't even know that Archie Griffin was a running back, uh, number one. <laughs> it's like, okay, okay. And, and, and number two, you know, people that... Uh, Go at it. It's like, how about you name five, five Ohio State Ohio State players that are you know on the team or relevant? Ryan Rollison to four ninety nine. It's like, I mean, if you're gonna talk shit, like, be a true fan. Don't just be a person that just likes to talk shit for the sake of talking shit. Because I will tell you this much. If you want to get into a lawyering match on the Michigan versus Ohio State, step into the ring with me in terms of lawyering. I will have you so, so flustered and counter every single argument. I mean, you heard what I said to you a second ago, Chris. An Ohio State fan that is actually uses, like, common sense. I appreciate that. Gregory Soto. 
Trevor Larnich, number to 250, Twins. I mean, I'm sure Michigan players took money too. Amen. Nick Decker. Brent Rooker. Bro, again. My goodness. Get your bro sauce, man. Enjoy that piece, sir. <laughs> Variation. It was backwards, Greg. I was like, no way. We got two Nickies. Variation still better than not nothing. Sure, Stephen. Yeah, I was gonna say, Greg, you know you got a Nick, right? In this case, auto. Colton Eastman. Jeremy Ironman to seventy five. All right, just making sure. Jameson Hanna, Jeremiah Jackson, Ryan Rawlison to four ninety nine. God damn it, keep putting Chrome in that pot. Grant Little. Nick Dunn. Drew Ellis. Cyrus Johnson. Lenny Torres. And recap, coming up for PYT number 12. All right, we got Drew Ellis, Torres. Hannah, Rollison, Ironman, McGriddle, uh, Decker, Bro, Waterwrench, Rollison Refractor, Schnell, Bro, Proctor, Clemens, Grayson Rodriguez, Izure, Siegler, Sparkles, Horner Refractor, Weathers, Weather, excuse me, uh, Nikki, Bro, Grenier, Clemens, Ashcraft, Grenier, Gray, Ashcraft, Lernich, Meadows, and Roberts. And that was the break, guys. Thank you all. I appreciate it.